Hi guys, it's Angel from Angel Sky TV. Today's your weekly medicine tarot reading for the week of March 19th. <clears throat> so close your eyes at home if you have any questions about this week. Uh, just bring it into your heart and I'm going to pull three cards for the week. And I usually just wait till I'm guided to stop uh, shuffling the deck. And I'll ask the angels, guides, and elementals to help us with this reading today to provide us with clear insight about the week ahead. All right. So beginning of the week, end of the week, middle end of the week. I always mix that up. All right. So what do we have here? So the beginning of the week starts out with us doing a little bit of reflection. <clears throat> So we're thinking a lot about um, our life, how our life has panned out, and they are um, up until this point. They are also talking about a lot of worrying, unnecessary worrying, perhaps up at night, thinking too much. Uh, these types of things. Um, it's an important time to let go of belief systems that are no longer working for you, and an excellent time to let go of objects or things in your house that are cluttering your home, that are creating uh, that energy of confusion and, um, and that sort of thing. So great time to spring clean. Today's actually, I'm filming on March 20th, so today's actually, actually the very first day of spring. So it is a good time to clear, clear out old habits, clear out um, objects, anything that's just kind of bogging you down and creating a bit of uh, weight in your life. Okay, so the other thing about this card is um, it's, it's ask, actually asking you to think about uh, moving forward in a way that benefits everyone around you. So not just um, you yourself, but your clan, your family, your group. So um, rather, like if you're feeling at a, sort of a place in your life where you just don't know what move to make, ask what's the best move to make in terms of everyone in your life. Even people you don't know, like how is, uh, help, you know, you can ask for guidance, like help me make a choice that's going to help everyone around me and the people that are in my path and help to better the, um, the world um, in general. And just think, if everybody did that, if everybody sort of made choices and decisions based on how it would affect everyone around them, um, their families, their friends, their uh, just the world in general, how much better the world would be. Middle of the week, um, I do see a lot of work piled up. I do see a lot of people feeling like... Um, you know, it's like hum that hump day feeling. So Wednesday, Thursday, just being weighed down by too many responsibilities. And it might just be, you know, everybody getting back in the groove from March break and just feeling like, oh, you know, how am I going to make it through the week? So not being able to sleep in, things like that. Uh, end of the week, saying to walk away from some... Um, um, people, associations that are dishonest, that aren't really serving you, maybe people that are, have been lying to you or cheating you or deceiving you in some way. So look around in your group, look around at your workplace, um, look around and just see like, you know, if you're feeling like you just can't continue the relationships that are around you because they're based on lies or they're based on deceit or there's just someone not being completely honest with you, it's time to walk away. This card also uh, indicates, you know, um, yes, you've won the battle between uh, another person in the sense that you you came out on top or you are um, the winner of the, the duel, but um, you've also lost something in that. Um, by being right, you've lost something, if that makes sense. So being right isn't always... Um, super important if it means you're going to lose um, things that matter most to you. So basically that card ushers a time of, you know, something's just not worth the effort. The battle's not worth the effort. The fight isn't worth the effort. Um, associating with people that don't align with what you uh, align with is not worth the effort. Um, they are saying to pull another card, which is really 
not usual uh, for this week. And it is a sadness card. Um, so just knowing that uh, in, in the case of this last card that I pulled where, you know, walking away from people or situations that don't serve you, um, this card indicates that it is going to take some time to heal those wounds that have been created in that relationship um, from that deceit, from that portrayal. So just know that that's okay. Um, time does heal um, uh, wounds and that you will grow from the situation. All of these um, types of happenings are, you know, for us to grow. Th that's basically... Um, inevitable on earth is that we will suffer a little bit we can't always be comfortable we can't always um, you know lead a rainbow bubble type of life things sometimes get tough people sometimes cheat us people sometimes betray us but ultimately we do get stronger from all of those experiences so don't forget that and know that you know don't try to rush or speed through any kind of healing um, when it comes to these types of things, just embrace the sadness, embrace the disappointment, and don't try to push it away and don't try to pretend it doesn't really affect you when it does. Um, so that's important is to honor where you're at, honor your feelings, and know that over time the, your, your heart will heal. And also don't hesitate to call on the guides to surround you with love, to surround you with compassion. Um, you know you're never alone you really really are never alone and just to remember that so I hope that that helps you this week um, you can find me here next week I'll hopefully be doing a couple of stone videos and I'm also going to be I'm just in the works of doing an aromatherapy video and an acupuncture video um, and I'm going to be interviewing a couple people for that so I'm really excited to do that and so stay tuned for my channel because not only do I do messages each week, I also talk about stones and crystals as well and interview awesome people in the local community who are working in alternative health and healing. So I'll talk to you soon. Subscribe to my channel. Share this if you feel like it could help a friend. And I'll talk to you soon. Okay, bye.